If you like the sound of finger-picked guitar but you've never tried before, this lesson will show you a simple, fun, and very musical exercise to get the process started. It's also a pattern that is very widely used and you're likely to encounter in some of the songs that you might learn. All I'm going to assume that you know already to this point is how to play a C chord and an A minor chord with your fretting hand, and maybe that you've gotten used to only moving your ring finger, leaving the middle finger and the index finger anchored on their notes, just to make it a little bit easier to transition between those chords so that you can forget about what is happening with the fretting hand and focus on your picking hand, which is what we're going to be doing a lot of in this lesson. If you haven't, do a little bit of what I'm doing right now and just kind of get that finger used to moving back and forth while the other remain on their notes and then maybe try a few times strumming the chords doing that at the same time. Okay, so now we'll come over to the picking hand and I'm going to fret a C chord. Don't have to worry about the fretting hand at this point. We'll just leave that C chord on there and focus totally on our picking hand. And now what you're going to do is you're going to pick strings 5, 3, 4, and 2 with your thumb, index, thumb, and middle. Or if you prefer the string letter, it would be the A string, G string, D string, and B string in standard tuning. Thumb, index, thumb, middle, 5, 3, 4, 2, A, G, D, B. Okay, once you've done that a few times, Find a speed, and it's best if it's really slow at first, maybe even slower than this. And at that nice slow speed, try to get that pattern going steady. Okay, once that becomes easy, the next step is to try to do four of those patterns on C. And then four patterns on A minor. And then start that again back on C. And then switch to A minor. You may find over time that you don't have to think as much about the fingers. changes as the tempo changes a little bit and it's something that is very important to embrace the slowness at first and try to just go at a rhythm that feels comfortable where you're not feeling frantic about getting to the next note what finger to use what string to hit go at a speed where you can kind of think clearly as you're picking through it and where you can also just get a nice sounding note out of the pick attack and a nice rhythm a nice balance of space between each of the notes as you play. Over time, as you do get more comfortable, the speed will almost take care of itself. But if you focus on that slow speed at first, it'll sound really good once you get more comfortable with the pattern. All right, well, once you're comfortable with that, there'll be a couple variations that you can throw onto it next. <laughs> 